Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Wednesday's card, January 18th, 2023. Got a free play coming up in Mo Valley Basketball, my roots. We'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, we got a big card going on Wednesday. We're going to have a little PGA action, by the way. First time that I've jumped into the PGA this season, and we do have a full tournament to win play that's available on Wednesday for Thursday's uh, golf. Of course, the American Express uh, tournament gets underway on Thursday, but the play is available on a Wednesday, so you can check that out on my homepage. Also wanted to mention I've got NBA, uh, I've got uh, soccer going on on a Wednesday afternoon to kick things off, 33 and 22 soccer run right now, and I've got college basketball. In fact, my top play today is in college. It's a five-star play. It's on my homepage at DocSports.com. Five-star plays nine and two so far this season, up exactly 3400 bucks. Last night, I finished half a point away from a sweep, an all-sports sweep. Uh, we came up uh, free throw short with the Wisconsin Badgers, laying three and a half and winning by three. But we're looking right back on track. Split last night. Let's get the five star in the win column tonight. Also wanted to mention that on Thursday, I will be releasing this weekend's uh, NFL playoff action led by my eight star NFL playoff release. My seven and eight star football plays this year, 65% against the spread, going all the way back to week number one of college and pro football. So check that out. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about the eight star play excuse me on thursday's video my seven and eight star plays 65 percent in football uh this season to date let's get to the free play it is bradley at indiana state sycamore is looking to snap a two-game skid they had won four in a row in conference play before that in the mo valley uh this one in terra out and that's a big big reason why we're back in the sycamores here they, they like to play at a fast pace indiana state they like to get that basketball up and down the court they normally shoot well in fact as far as two-point percentage is concerned nobody's better in college basketball indiana state number one in the nation hitting uh, better than 60 percent of their two pointers now when they go on the road sometimes it's tough to force that quick tempo but they're at home and they're taking on a bradley braves team uh, that doesn't exactly get the job done away from home in fact they've been a really good home team the braves but when they travel on the road they've just not been able to get the job done their points per game drops way off their allowed points per game goes way up uh, they just lost on the road to drake by 20 five points and now four days later they're on the road again at indiana state i don't believe that they're going to be able to match indiana state in this game who again is looking to snap a two-game skid if you look at bradley they're going to want to slow things down if this was in peoria i'd probably say they probably could uh, but it being in Terre Haute, i think the sycamores off of that two-game losing streak are going to be able to uh, get the tempo they desire which is a fast pace and go on to win this game and cover the spread i think that line is fair if you'd like the sycamores in this one so indiana state minus the points is is the free play on a Wednesday and again I'll be right back here early Thursday morning overnight we'll talk a little bit more about that eight star playoff game in the NFL and we'll have our next free play if you like the videos click on the thumbs up be sure to subscribe I'm Scott Spritzer DocSports.com let's put them in the win column everybody